Many of us who use InDesign CS5 will also have coworkers who are using InDesign CS4. InDesign CS4 can't open an InDesign CS5 document, although InDesign CS5 can open an InDesign CS4 document. Thankfully, Adobe has given us a mechanism for taking our InDesign CS5 documents and sharing them with our coworkers who use InDesign CS4. Let's show you how to do that now. Browse to your Chapter 3 folder and open the Chapter 3 Sale Flyer Corrected Links. If you haven't done Lesson 4, that's okay. You can open just the Chapter 3 Sale Flyer and ignore the missing link message. Let's save this for someone who uses InDesign CS4. In order to make it accessible to InDesign CS4, we've got to save it as an InDesign Markup Language Document, or IDML. This is a special language that both InDesign CS4 and InDesign CS5 can read. If you have InDesign CS5 only features in your document, however, they will be lost when you open them in InDesign CS4. In most cases you won't notice the change, but it is a really good idea to send a printout or a PDF with that InDesign Markup Language document. Let's create that now. Under the File menu, choose Export. The file format we want is InDesign Markup Language, or IDML. You'll see that we can export our InDesign document for other uses as well, but for now, let's choose InDesign Markup. Once you've made the choice, click Save. If you had very sharp eyes, you notice something appear and disappear very quickly up in the application bar. This is called the Background Tasks Indicator. When you export a document, either as a PDF, as an EPS, as an InDesign Markup Language, or any other format, this is now performed in the background. Exporting used to take a lot of time in earlier versions of InDesign, and it's now been moved to the background tasks. This allows you to go right back to work while InDesign is performing the export. If you have a long document that will be exported to InDesign Markup Language, for instance, maybe a book, maybe a magazine, it will happen in the background so that you can get right back to work. Let's prove that that will open in InDesign CS4. I have my InDesign Markup Language file, and what I'd like to do is to open it in InDesign CS4. Now, if you don't have InDesign CS4 installed, that's okay. I'm doing this simply to prove that it works. Select the InDesign Markup Language file, and we'll drag it onto InDesign CS4. You'll notice that it opens as an untitled document, and that it has all of the features that we had in InDesign CS5. All the graphics, all the text, as well as the links have been preserved. Now we know how to create new documents, make templates so that we can reuse content over and over again, fix our missing links, and convert documents for our coworkers who are using Creative Suite 4.